Good morning. Good morning. You can see we're handheld. We got the little shaky cam thing going on. And <laughs> we're just doing a little more informal devotion this morning uh, because we didn't want to haul all these things up for. We are in Bay City, Michigan on a centennial farm. Uh, been in the same family for, I think, more than, more than 100. Way more than 100 years. I think more than 150 years. And um, that's pretty cool. So, very special family. And uh, celebrating our family Christmas. So, uh, th this short tune that we're going to sing is from the, from the old Lutheran hymnal mm -hmm. that we used to sing from. And uh, it is, um, I got something in my eye. It is a prayer. We, we did a hymn version of this yesterday, but this is a prayer I have often found a blessing to pray when I'm upset, uh, when I'm by myself, when I'm perplexed, you know, whatever. It's a, it's a good placing yourself in the hands of God kind of prayer in song. Did I pick the right note before? I don't. You remember. think it was good for you? I don't. As long as it worked for you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, that'll work. Lord, now oh, let us, thou thy servant, depart in peace according to thy word. For mine eyes have seen thy salvation, which thou hast prepared before. The face of all people, a light to light, and the Gentiles, and the glory of thy people, Israel. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. It's one of the reasons why it's good to have some routine in our worship that we can remember things that are a blessing to us. So, so <clears throat> the story we start continues in verse. At verse 36 so in Luke two. Luke 2. And there was a prophetess, Anna, the daughter of Phanuel of the tribe of Asher. She, would, she was advanced in years, having lived with her husband seven years from when she was a virgin. And then as a widow until she was 84, she did not depart from the temple worshiping with fasting and prayer night and day. And coming up at that very hour, she began to give thanks to God and to speak of Jesus to all who were waiting for the redemption of Jerusalem. To all who were waiting. She was waiting. And... And her waiting, you could see, took the form of spending her days in God's house. Not, I don't suppose that, that was necessarily so for all those 60-some years since her husband passed away. But uh, back then, your family was your social security system. And unless she had children to care for her, then she might have just been on her own. Um, and so staying in the temple, um, it was a wide open space. It was in, in one way not so different from sleeping under a bridge. Uh, in, you know, in terms of this big stone place and <clears throat> these porticos and columned aisles and so on. And she could put a blanket down put a mat down um, in a corner and, and sleep at night uh, and, and rise whenever she was wakeful to go and pray, to go into the, in, into the temple court 
a little closer and pray to be to be by God's house. Where do you pray? Where do you wait for the Lord? When when things are difficult, uh, when you're alone, where do you go to pray? Uh, some people have a prayer closet, uh, you know, a, a small place in their house where they where they uh, have their devotion time. Um, for me, when I needed really needed to pray, I would go for a walk, and not just because of nature, but but the walking and the, much like Adam and Eve in the garden, the walking with God was a better place to talk. But as a pastor, I was also blessed with the with the opportunity to just go into the church and sit there and talk to God. Anna it's not reported that that God that that the Holy Spirit spoke to her that an angel appeared to her you would think she sort of earned it right she 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 um, even more than Simeon she was right there she waited there in God's house um but she saw the savior and she waited for him and then she continued to wait until the Lord would call her home. And he did. That's wherever you're waiting. And make, make no mistake, that's what you're doing. It's uh, Advent is done and we're in the Christmas season, but we're still waiting. Waiting for the Lord's return. And while we wait, we pray. And we labor together and we're blessed to have families most of us uh, are not like Anna we have uh, other resources but we're waiting and we will see Jesus and and we will be blessed amen Lord Jesus thank you that we can wait together Thank you that as you told the disciples, you would not leave us alone, but you would send your spirit, the comforter, the paraclete, the one who comes alongside. We thank you, Lord, that in your spirit, we also know that you will come to us as you came to Anna, as you came to Simeon, in, in, in an even greater way. As they saw you as an infant, Lord, you will come in power and glory. Even so, Lord Jesus, quickly come. Amen. Amen. Happy fifth day of Christmas. Five gold rings. <laughs> now may the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you with his favor and give you Peace. Amen. Now we've got a whole slew of grandchildren to go go uh, hang out with. Blessings. <laughs>